We've got a sequence right here, and what we're going to be doing is, first, when you want to see any sort of sequence, what you want to do is try to find the common difference. And the common difference is what difference exists between each number. So between negative 7 and negative 3 would be 4. Between negative 3 and 1 would be 4. Between 1 and 5 is 4. You notice all of these are 4, so this is an arithmetic sequence. Uh, so now that we know the arithmetic sequence, the next thing that we're going to be trying to do, trying to calculate, is we're going to find a to the 23rd. In other words, the 23rd term of the sequence. Now, we could simply just add 4 every time and count each one of them. That would work, but that takes too long. So what we're going to do instead is do a little bit of calculations here. Now let's identify, here is our uh, arithmetic sequence formula here. With this formula that we've got, we, we want to try to see what information we already know. Well, a to the first is the first term in the sequence. The first term in this sequence is negative 7. So a to the first is negative 7. We know that the difference is 4. We already calculated that. That's the difference between each, from one number to the next, basically. And finally, n. n is the number term that we're looking for. In this case, it's the 23rd term. Well, now that we know this information, we're going to plug this in over here for each one that we know. Uh, a of n, we know that one. That one's going to be a to the 23rd. That's what we're looking for. a of 1, let's see, that's negative 7. We've got that written over here. Uh, n, n we know is 23. That will match always what this one is. And then that's 23 minus 1, essentially, so we'll just write that in. And then d, the difference is 4. So we'll, we'll fill that in over here. Now, in order to find this one, all we're going to have to do is simplify the right-hand side. So I take here and I go 23 using my order of operations. I do parentheses first. Um, 23 minus 1 would give me 22. Uh, now I go 22 times 4, which is 88. Then 88, uh, negative 7 plus 88 would give me a 81. So a, a of 23 would be 81. This is the 23rd term in this sequence would be 81. And that's a lot easier than trying to calculate each one of them and trying to write it down saying, OK, well, this sixth term, um, excuse me, the fifth term in the sequence is 9. That means the sixth term is 13. The seventh, I mean, that would take you forever. So this way it's going to be a lot easier.